so the last update is out from the rising os this is rising os if you want to try out a custom rom having a lot of new features unique customizations and a lot more things rising os is actually a very good choice for you and yes this is the final update and that's confirmed we might get android 15 very very soon at least while making this video there are some custom rooms giving you android 15 so this could be the last update version 5.2 based on android 14 let's have a quick look at some of the changes as expectedly they are giving you some of the changes but because this is just a minor update so we do not have any major changes available here the thing which I noticed here is quick settings, fling, animation, duration. This looks good. So for example, as you can see, now this is looking very slowly. The animation is so smooth and you can see a lot of things here. This is called quick settings, fling, animation. And you can change the duration according to your own preference. By default, it's available at 0 ms, I guess. And you can change it and choose up to 1000. So the higher the number the slower the animation will be as far as i know so this is what we have if we move on to the other options in sound section or the sound engine in the previous update sound loudness gain and the first option bass boost level bass boost level these options were there the surround sound level which is for the headset which is if you use wireless headphones or headphones etc definitely this could be the feature useful for you it's included with this new update else we do not have any major changes available there but in this one i will talk about some of the visual changes which you found with the things and i guess right now this is one of the most stable updates available for many devices and rising os is actually available for many devices right now this is also available as an unofficial version too so check this out let me show you some of my favorite features personally like backup and restore personalization settings is one of my favorite features personally and i recommend that this feature should be implemented in every customizable custom room so you can take the backup of the settings you have did settings you did the customizations you did sometimes we just forgot where that option particular option was that is a very useful thing another thing is the cache cleaner you can enable the cache cleaner service to automatically clear app cache and this could be a very very useful feature personally speaking i haven't used rising ways for a long time on my personal daily driver device but i'll see that later on so we'll see the things which are working or which are not in the security settings like we have the hide screen capture status ignore windows secure flags these are the very useful features and i just love them personally speaking the hide developer status is also one of the must have features and it's available here in this case so if you use any banking app developer status i mean some apps detect like you have developer options enabled so in that case to bypass that restriction it's a very useful thing spoofing options as expectedly already present here and let me tell you one more thing if you install this custom room for the first time and you want to you have to update your play integrity fix in case you want to pass the strong integrity yes strong integrity integrity passes by default right now while making this video for many custom rooms it's good just click on update play integrity fix it will give you this pop-up called system restart required and then you can restart your system basically restart your device to find out if the play integrity passes or not i'll talk about that later on in this case you can also use the quick switch which is of a, a very useful feature actually yes it should be considered as a feature because you can switch between some custom launchers in the previous previous updates previous custom room updates these things were not possible you had to install some modules for that but in this case these things are enabled by default so whenever you change launcher you just have to reboot restart your device and as you can see it's available there so quick switch is already implemented which means you will be able to use the banking sorry you'll be able to use the full screen gestures with animations as you can see these these are the things available there and if you move on to the other options another thing is boot animation styles with the previous update we have some boot animations options available for you you can switch between custom boot animations and by the way you can also use your custom boot animation and for that you don't you don't need to use magic module you have to use the boot animation.zip file i guess i'll upload the video soon for that thing for sure and yes as expectedly bootloader is locked the strong integrity is passing by default no issues while using banking apps that's just tremendous and by the way if you root your device things might be different in your case 
so this is it these were the things i just wanted to let you know thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one until then take care